In the sprawling metropolis of Cogsworth, where the rhythmic ticking of clockwork mechanisms echoed through the narrow streets, lived a small and unassuming kitten named Ember. One fateful evening, while playfully exploring back alleys, she stumbled upon a hidden entrance to underground tunnels. An unusual noise echoing off the walls drew her further in, venturing into the dimly lit space. Ember followed the odd noise, sometimes having to backtrack through the winding maze of tunnels. Eventually, Ember was led to a massive chamber. There was a colossal machine surrounded by figures in dark cloaks making adjustments, and beknownst to the curious feline this secret gathering was the heart of a nefarious plot threatening to plunge Cogsworth into chaos. Curiosity getting the better of her, she crept closer. In her excitement she knocked over a pile of gears, revealing herself to the conspirators. Unfazed, Ember darted through the narrow passages leading the cloaked figures in pursuit through the tunnels. She continued until she was out of the tunnels, but her curiosity about the machine remained. The next evening after gathering her courage, she descended into the tunnels once more. Once she came to the chamber, the cloaked figures were there, still attending to the device. Being far more careful of the parts strewn about the floor, she crept closer and could hear them conversing. Snippets of conversations hinted at a dark conspiracy to sabotage the city's central power generator. Ember sought refuge in an abandoned workshop knowing that she would need supplies if she was going to derail the nefarious plans. Clearing the cobwebs away from the parts and equipment she discovered a dusty but beautifully crafted mechanical owl. Not being able to leave such a masterpiece partially cleaned, she found a cloth to wipe the last of the dust away. Once the eyes were wiped clear, the owl blinked, and Ember let out a startled yowl and jumped down to the floor. Several of the gears were, and some ground against each other from neglect. Ember looked around and saw a small oil can nearby, and sniffing the contents grabbed it, and gently dripped oil onto the stuck gears. Once the oil had done its work, the owl introduced itself, as Cogbeak, knowing that she would need help, Ember explained what she had seen in the tunnels and the peril that the entire city was in. Impressed by the feline's bravery, Cogbeak revealed that he had been created as a sentry of Cogsworth. He had been set aside for repairs, but had been forgotten with the peace that had come to the city. With the revelation of the conspiracy, Ember and Cogbeak formed an unlikely alliance. Ember would finish Cogbeak's repairs, and Hugh would help her protect the city. Once Cogbeak was repaired, they set out to unravel the mysteries surrounding the cloaked figures and their sinister plans. As they navigated the dark alleys and hidden passages, Ember's curiosity and Cogbeak's surveillance capabilities became a formidable combination. As they unraveled the layers of conspiracy, it took them far beyond the underground passages of Cogsworth. Their investigations led them to the Grand Clock Tower. At the heart of the metropolis, Ember and Cogbeak devised a plan to thwart the group that they'd come to know as the Shadow Engineers. Neither of them were wanting a fight. Ember wasn't much of a brawler, and Cogbeak had been designed primarily for surveillance, utilizing Ember's ability to squeeze into small spaces and Cogbeak's ability to disable key components. They sabotaged the Shadow Engineer's intricate devices. The conspirators were left scratching their heads, as their plans unraveled without any apparent cause. Over the next few nights, Ember and Cogbeak continued their undercover dismantling of the devices hidden throughout the city. The citizens of Cogsworth had become aware of something going on in the city. At night the city had become a ghost town, no one being curious or brave enough to interfere. Rumors had begun circulating about a kitten and an owl, who had been seen coming from odd underground passages, usually in quite the rush. As the last device, the central control hub was dismantled. There was an ominous grinding of gears from deep within the city. Steam poured out from a number of the underground entrances 
Some of the citizens, startled and curious, became brave enough to see what was going on. Ember and Cogbeak emerged from one of the entrances, and much to their surprise they were greeted with cheering. Neither of them had mentioned to anyone else what they were doing, but apparently the Shadow Engineers were far better known than they had thought, with the threat neutralized. Ember and Cogbeak soon became symbols of courage and unity. The story of their heroic undertaking spread through the city. The Shadow Engineers, seeing the emboldened citizenry, knew that their plans for Cogsworth were forfeit. Ember, now recognized as the guardian of Cogsworth, continued to roam the streets with Cogbeak, the reinstated sentry by her side. The dark conspiracy had been thwarted, and the city thrived once more. They found an unexpected guardian in Ember, the kitten with whiskers of brass, and Cogbeak, the mechanical sentinel. As the clockwork city thrived in harmony, tales of their adventures became legendary. The citizens knew. Whenever shadows threatened to loom over their beloved city, Ember and Cogbeak would be there, ready to defend Cogsworth with unwavering resolve.